We're back working on the tail of the T-Rex 470L. I took the side case off. If we look at the back of the tail transmission here, I have the, the side plate removed. That's going to let us get access to putting the belt in. Simplest way to do this that I found. I have a piece of 22 gauge wire left over from some fluorescent lighting upgrades in my shop and I'm just going to feed that back down the boom until it pops out into the gear case area up front. Once I have that I'm going to feed the belt in flat. Okay, I now have the belt out the back. There's a couple ways to do this. We're going to try it this way. I'm going to bring the belt over the tail transmission. And we got to get the twist just right here. Essentially, you want to get this belt straight to start with. Once it's through straight and flat, it needs a quarter turn counterclockwise from the back to go over the tail. And the easiest way to tell if you got this right, if I pull the left side of the belt, I want the tail transmission, I want the tail to turn the correct direction this way. So we just got to make sure the belt is straight and only has one quarter turn in it. Down the length of the, of the fuselage, it's going to come back straight and it wants to turn one quarter turn counterclockwise towards the back and that's the only way it's going to work. Now what I need to do is be able to get the main gear in with the belt around it and this is a bit of a trick Okay, that was actually fairly straightforward. I was able to slide the belt in, bring the belt off to the side, flip it over the top of the gear, and bring the whole piece forward. When I turn, pan this down a little bit, when I turn the, the gear in the direction the main rotor is going to turn, the tail turns the proper way, so we've got that put together. Now I can bring the main shaft in, Tie everything together, and if we get the camera back where it belongs here, belt's riding on top of the gear where it's right on the red gear where it's supposed to be. We'll run the the lower bolt in, and this is together this way. Eventually, we're going to have to tighten up the two pinch bolts here to adjust belt tension.